Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and this is going to be my nine month hair transplant update. So check it out. Before we dive into the video, please do feel free to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. Hair transplant updates every month to track my progress and you can check out all of the previous videos in the playlist which is going to be linked in the description box below. But this is my nine month one and a lot has changed. As you can see, I've, I've, I've cut my hair. The barbers and everything are open so we can finally go get our hair cut in the UK. But I didn't do that this month. I couldn't wait any longer and I cut it myself and I, I took it quite short. I don't think I've ever cut my hair this short before by myself. So you'll see later on in the video me shaving the back of my head so you can see how short it can go, what the scarring is like at the back of my head. We'll get some good close up shots of what the hairline actually looks like right now comparing it to how it was before the surgery and how it was in the, the the weeks and months recovering from surgery. So a little bit of background about me before we jump into this video for anyone that is new here. Um, I'm 32 years old. I haven't been taking um, finasteride or minoxidil or any um, medications or anything like that, but that has changed this month. I have a six month supply of finasteride now. I know there are some side effects that people have mentioned, but I've also checked out loads of YouTube videos of other other guys that are using finasteride and they've given their feedback and they haven't experienced the side effects that other people have mentioned so ho hopefully fingers crossed I'm not gonna get those side effects because I don't want those side effects <laughs> if you don't know what they are google them for my hair transplant I got 2,500 grafts taken from the back of my head as an FUE transplant and then put into the front of my head. I didn't have anything on the crown because I've had no hair loss on my crown. It was just my hairline that I've hated my entire life. That's why I decided to get my hair transplant done in the first place. It was like that big McDonald's M shape, which I wanted to get rid of and straightened out, which is exactly what I've done and that's exactly how it's, how it's gone. So the M is now gone. It's a nice straight line. And um, yeah, I could not be more excited about it. As many of you guys know from my previous videos, I went to Vinci Hair Clinic on Harley Street in London to get my hair transplant done. I didn't go to Turkey, I didn't leave the country, I didn't do anything like that. We were in the middle of the pandemic and I didn't want to leave the country, basically. So I stuck with being in London, went to Vinci Hair Clinic on Harley Street and I, I can't fault them. I've got no complaints at all. Very pleased with them, I highly recommend them. I am also taking vitamin supplements for my hair. So there is the Ideal of Med ones I got sent by Ideal of Med, which are these ones which have got zinc, biotin, and ginseng in them, which are all supposed to help stimulate hair growth. And then I'm also using the Vinci Hair Clinic, the Truvian Hairline hair supplements here, which again have a huge amount of biotin in them and loads of other active ingredients that help to stimulate hair growth and promote healthy hair all over your head, not just where your hair transplant was. If you want to get your hands on the Vinci Vitruvian hair supplement vitamins, use the code here when you book your initial consultation and when you get your hair transplant done, they will be given to you on the day. So that's there for you to use if you want to use it. And enough about that. <laughs> I'm so pleased with how it's gone. Right, so there's that. Let's take a really quick look at all of the progress so far and then we will take some side-by-side -side comparison pictures of where it was, where it is, and how we got there. So, check it out. This will be the starting point. So, it's, I know some people will be like, it's not even that bad. But for me, it just, it goes up too high. Yeah, I've made it highly straight and I'm going in. So I've had all the anesthetic. My head is numb.
So obviously I'm not going to wear my hair down like this, but this is just to show you guys that I would never have had this much hair all over there. There would normally have been like a big gap here and here where it was missing hair. But now that it's not missing any hair, it's, it's like a full fringe. If I wanted it to be a full fringe, it could be a full fringe. But let's pull this back and show you guys what it looks like underneath. And it looks, it looks good. I'm very, very pleased with it. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see. Okay, here we go. So, a lovely full head of hair. <laughs> it's like a really, I, I, I'm so, I'm blown away with how, how good it looks. It's, um, we're nine months in and it's, it's, uh, there's still some growing left to go. Um, the hair does grow like, it's, it's, it's in place so that if I were to put my hair up and mess my hair up, this side kind of goes out like that. This side kind of goes out like that, and then this bit goes up. So that when I mess my hair up, it's 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 the hair has gone in the right, it's grown in the right direction for me to be able to do that. Um, but yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. It looks really really good. I'm thoroughly thoroughly pleased with the results so far. But yeah, there is still some thickening up to go. Three months away from a year. So that's when you're going to see the majority of all the growth, but there is still potential for more grafts that are underneath the scalp come through. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly pleased with this. I'm really impressed. I like it a lot. So at the beginning of the month, I had a lot of hair and I really wanted to get my hair cut, but the barbers and everything weren't open. Hairdressers still weren't open, so hadn't got it done there. Decided to do it myself again at home and um, yeah. Check it out, see how it went. Hey guys, here I am earlier on in the month. It is now the 3rd of April, so it's the beginning of the month. And as you can see, my hair is definitely due a cut. I'm going to take some of this length off because that is pretty long. Short on all the back and the sides. A load of you wanted to know like how short I can go. I did go quite short before, but I think I'm going to try and go a bit shorter around the sides and the back this time. So let's... Let's get going. And you can see how thick that is there. All that hair that needs to go. So here's the finished look, and here we go, here's the back of the head. I probably could have taken it shorter, I don't know why I didn't. Um, probably just nervous about taking it short myself. But it's looking good, it's looking really good. I've dried it and I've put too much pressure on the hairdryer there, so it's a little bit like puffed out. There you go, you can see, there's that side. And I've taken this little bit here, which I would normally keep long so that I could swoop it forward and like mask that area of my forehead. And then the same on the other side, I've, I've taken this bit, is it this bit? I've taken this bit of hair here shorter than I would usually take it. And whenever I used to go to the, the hairdressers, I would say, can you keep the, these bits longer just so that I could swoop them forward and use them as, as the, basically a comb over just to, to mask those top parts of my forehead that I hated. Um, but now that they are filled in, there's hair there and I don't need, I don't need these bits to be longer anymore. So, but yeah, I think it looks quite good. Let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. Have you ever been brave enough to cut your own hair? Let me know as well. I'd love to hear if you've had a success story or a failure. It's been a while since I've styled my hair up. This is, this is I've put too much product in, but this is just an example of how it, how it, how it could look when I have my hair up, I guess. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. I'm liking it. And here we are today with the hair being all messed up on top, which is exactly what I wanted to happen from this entire process. I wanted to be able to be comfortable with my hair messed up on the top without worrying about like the wind blowing and freaking out my hair. And yeah, it's, it's just, as you can see, this is, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm very happy with it. So Ideal of Med sent me a bunch of stuff to try and test and see how I like it. As you can see, I, I'm, I'm still using the vitamins, the hair vitamins, but I had to stop using the shampoo, mostly because it was, 
I don't know if it was the shampoo or if it was something else, but I was getting zits and spots on my head, which is really unusual for me, like in my scalp. So I stopped using that shampoo and I'm using my head and shoulders as normal again. And it's, it's, it's all seems to have cleared up. There's no more zits or spots or anything. So that's my take on the shampoo. Um, I have been using the scalp serum as well, but I don't know if it's really made a difference, if I'm completely honest. But yeah, so that's, that's, that's basically my overview of the, of the ideal of med stuff. There are a lot of products on the market that are to promote hair health and everything like that. There's all the different kinds of shampoos and everything. And I think a lot of it is just trying it, seeing how it works, seeing if it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, it's not necessarily not going to work for someone else. From my personal experience, I don't know how much benefit I have received from using the Ideal of Med stuff. Full disclosure. There you go. If you do want to try it out for yourself, then all the information for that is in the description box below. So feel free to check it out. The Vinci supplements have fit into my morning routine pretty well though, to be fair. I've got them on a shelf in the bathroom, so I'll have one of these. I will have one of my finasteride tablets, and these are literally one tablet a day, so it's not like multiple tablets. It's um, really easy for me to do. I make sure that I know that I've taken everything that I need to take for the day to help my hair grow as fast as I possibly can and keep my health, hair as healthy as I possibly can. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this update. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget you can always message me on Instagram if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them all. If it does take me a while to get back to you, know that it's just because there are a lot of messages coming through, but I will get back to each and every one of you. And if you drop a comment in the comments down below, I will also get back to you. So feel free to ask me any questions at all. I'm happy to help. Remember guys, if you do decide to go to Vinci Hair Clinic to get your hair transplant done, feel free to use my code and you will get a free three month supply of the Vitruvian hair vitamins, which support healthy hair growth. I am using these every day and I've only just really started, so I don't know how, how well they're going. But if you are getting your hair transplant done at Vinci, just use the code and you'll get them free anyway. So there you go. That is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do check out my next video next month. And if you like comic book stuff, Marvel stuff, DC stuff, nerdy stuff, as well as hair transplant stuff, then check out my other videos because there is a bunch of like merch and collectibles and other stuff going up regularly too. So I will see you guys in my next update. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. That was a little bit all over the place. So hopefully that was good, I don't know. But either way, I'm freaking excited about my hair. I, I love my hair. <laughs> it's a good hair day.